Russian neo-Nazis are luring gay teens uh, to meet with them, and then they proceed to torture them. Now, this is a, a report that the Huffington Post wrote about, and apparently there are neo-Nazis in Russia, which doesn't make much sense because neo-Nazis don't like Russians. Uh, uh, yeah, anyway. this is a really welcome change in uh, geopolitical circumstances in the world. Normally, the Nazis fight the Russians. Yeah. Now... Historically speaking, the incredibly dangerous neo-Nazis have met the incredibly dangerous Russians, and we have the super dangerous neo-Nazi Russians who are now looking to lure in gay, sometimes kids yes. and guys, and uh, and humiliate and torture them. This is not a positive development. It definitely is not. Um, and right now, there is this anti-gay, you know, sentiment in in Russia. People are becoming less. Uh, tolerant of gays and it's just a disaster because here in the United States we're finally seeing some progress in that regard but in Russia they're kind of moving backwards and it's because of anti-gay propaganda. In fact recently Vladimir Putin uh, uh, proposed some sort of legislation that would uh, include penalties to anyone who talks to kids about homosexuality. So if you happen to say like oh that couple is gay right like yeah. you can actually pay a fine for that. Now understand it's not porn or anything like that yeah. it's just Talking to anyone who's underage about homosexuality is now forbidden. Exactly, okay? exactly. So, and, and that's why you've seen the poll numbers literally in Russia slip. More people were in favor of gay rights. Now less people are. Less than the, it went from a majority in favor of gay rights to less About 39% are in favor of gay rights in Russia now. Um, a few years ago, it was around 52%. So it has decreased significantly, and it, I think a lot of it has to do with the emergence of these neo-Nazi groups. So let me tell you what the neo-Nazi groups do uh, to lure these boys in. There is a very popular website in Russia. It's known as VK.com, and it's essentially the Facebook of Russia. And people use it as social networking, and they also use it to hook up. So what these members of the neo-Nazi groups do is they contact uh, teenagers that they think are gay and they say hey meet me here and as soon as they meet they will proceed to torture these kids now we have a few um, screenshots of videos by the way they take video of this and they put it all over the internet we don't want to show you a full video but we do have some screen grabs that we can show you um, so look I'm an orphan I have no parents I'm a, uh, I am a criminal still I'm not such a low life like you so uh, there was one case where they poured a bottle full of urine on top of uh, this gay teen's head and uh, and they start beating him yeah and then they ch get like quasi confessions out of them and the video stops after they pour the uh, you know the piss on him and then start hitting him um, they send uh, the videos and the confessions to family members uh, if they have a job to the place where they work and it's a, a way of outing them and humiliating them and basically destroying their lives it's disgusting right and again, every time with these guys, you know, why are you so interested in bringing gay people to your house and physically harassing them? Like someone who isn't, uh, look, first of all, it's obvious that they're filled with hate. They're neo-Nazis, mm -hmm. right? And, you know, kidding around about dangerous Russians and stuff like that. But it, it doesn't, it could be neo-Nazi anything. Right, and you're off to a bad start. No, but now to, to say the least. There's actually a group of neo-Nazi gay guys, which I oh, find that's incredible. So Vice actually uh, did a report on that, and at first I didn't believe it. I'm like, how can you be a neo-Nazi gay guy? And it's because they're just really, really racist. I mean, I think that that's uh, because most gay people tend to be progressive. We seem to think like, oh, gay people are like they're not racist. They're not. The no, there are definitely gay racist people out there. And Vice interviewed one person, so he starts getting into like his sex life or the sex life within this neo-Nazi group. Oh, and good. He, and he's very clear about things. Okay. I'm going to read you what he said. He said, our sexual life generally consists of BDSM, especially uh, sadomasochism. Our brothers aren't engaged in tenderness on silk sheets. We commit truly manly acts. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he continues to say, by our nature, sexual intercourse is rough. This is similar to primitive uh, passion. Some of us have slaves, but they often aren't nationalists. We treat sex as something sacred. This is similar to how believers treat God. Sex is a transmission of passion, emotions, pleasure, and last but not least, sperm into the body of a brother. Ah. <laughs> and I, their name is Gash. 
Now this now look the fact that his name is Balu makes me believe it is real. Yeah, I don't think Vice would make this up. No, no, of course yeah. Vice isn't making it up. But yeah. like I don't know if it was like some giant put on for Vice. Like a troll or to something. To them, yeah, that yeah. Vice got trolled. But no, look, Aryan Brotherhood, where they deposit sperm in one another's in the brothers, that's a whole new meaning to Aryan Brotherhood that I could not have possibly imagined. So I know it's amazing. Kudos to them for imagination, man. But you know what? I think what they're doing is they're basically taking it to the next level. Like what, what's unsaid about the Russian neo Nazis, mm -hmm. they're just doing. You know, because those Russian neo Nazis, what are they doing? They're tying the kids up, yeah. right? And they're like, oh, we want to bring gay people here, tie them up, and treat them roughly. Mm -hmm. How oh, similar does it sound to the gay neo Nazis? Pretty damn similar. Mm -hmm.